What's going on guys? Just wanted to briefly give a update on our Floki positioning in the chart here. Couldn't do it in a quick TikTok. Obviously we know we had a huge run up off the lows. We did trade out 25% of our bag here and then we picked out another high up here and sold 25%. We got back long so we are 75% long here. Sold out 25% so 50% long. And then on this dip we saw a lot of signals including uh, bullish divergences and what was going on with Bitcoin and we were looking for Bitcoin to rise. So we went ahead and got fully long, 100% long on Floki on the day of the low. Now, this was the Elon pump. We were in bed. Elon pumped, talked about his dog. So this pumped up about 40%. Huge number. So we sold 50% of our bag. As we know, we woke up in the morning and the pump continued with the announcement that it was going to be listed on KuCoin. So it went up another 40%. We sold 25%. And then this was just euphoria, a couple exchange listings, roadmap, everything was get going. 200% from our buying and we sold the remaining 25% of our Floki. Now, we have seen a huge correction all the way back down to the 618 potentially. While Bitcoin is trying to remain strong in the face of a terrible uh, stock close. So I should probably not get greedy and buy back at least 25% of our Floki here on this uh, 40% drop along with the 0.618 retracement but as of now i've not given a buy just yet for anybody so we shall see um you do see that on the last sell-off we did get as low as the 786 over here with this wick we got close to it we also got close to this 200 ma so we do have quite a bit of a gap and that would be some confluence get to the 786 get back to where the elon pump was and probably touch somewhere close to this 200 ma because on the RSI, there is no real reason to buy here. We're not crossing over here. We don't have a bullish divergence. We have nothing going on. Now, on the one-hour chart, we do have a bullish divergence. As you can see, the price is going lower while RSI is continuing to hold the levels. Now, this can continue out and maybe get another sell-off here. And then this still holds and you just move this bullish divergence out a little bit further. And then we have the buy of a lifetime there. Regardless, Floki is on our radar once again. We have been trading this thing like a champion on these pumps, and we want to get our bag back soon. I just wanted to kind of let you know I am watching this, obviously. It did do a massive pull down. Could be an ABC correction here already off of this sell. So that is big gains in the pocket. Now, our idea with this is always to buy back the same number of tokens and keep all of those profits in cash. So that'd be like BUSD or BNB and continue to stack up those safer hedge bags. We already have as many Floki as we want. So with winning trades, we're going to build up BNB, which was outperforming Bitcoin for a very long time in the bear market, and to build up our BUSD bags for other pre-sale opportunities, either all coin trades, or if life gets in the way and you need to cash out some crypto uh, to pay for a new car, or for house payment, whatever, you go to, to the BUSD and you don't touch any of the other tokens. So stay tuned, guys. Floki looking good. Loving this dip because we have got our sales. If it dips a little more, it'll be below 50% of our sales. And man, the gains have been good on Floki. And their roadmap just came out today, and it looks good. So let's look for a re-entry. Let's see what Bitcoin does. Let's hopefully uh, get a capitulation wick here to go long. So stay tuned in the Discord.